kids welcome to the maths class now after doing addition of big and small numbers today we will do story sums of addition the main objective of today's topic is how to do story sums of addition addition stories gives us some information and then it tells us to find out something we have to understand clearly that what the information given is and what we have to find out now let us understand the story sums through this video there are 14 yellow aeroplanes and 25 blue aeroplanes at the airport how many aeroplanes are there in all now let us read that what information is given to us that there are 14 yellow aeroplanes and 25 blue aeroplanes at the airport and we have to find out total number of aeroplanes children keep one thing in your mind that whenever in the statement all together total and in all will come it means we will do addition now let's solve it yellow aeroplanes equals to 14 we will write the place value chart on it ones and tens and blue aeroplanes equals to 25 and then we will write total and the sign of plus in the bracket now 4 plus 5 is 9 and 1 plus 2 is 3 so answer is 39 it means there are 39 aeroplanes in all at the airport Now let us do one more example. There are twenty-three red roses and forty-two pink roses in the garden. How many roses are there all together? So let us read the information that is given to us that there. 23 red roses and 42 pink roses are there and we have to find out how many roses are there all together means we have to find out total number of roses again whenever all together total and in all will come in the statement it means we will do addition first we will write red roses equals to 23 then we will write the place value chart on it ones and tens and then we will write pink roses equals to 42 then total and in the bracket we will put sign of plus then we will add 3 plus 2 is 5 and 2 plus 4 is 6 it means that there are 65 roses in the garden now let us practice it on copy Now read the statement carefully with me. Raman has thirty-two blue pencils and fifty-four red pencils. How many pencils does she have in all? Now what information is given to us? Raman has thirty-two blue pencils. So how many blue pencils Raman has? Thirty-two. So we will underline thirty-two blue pencils and mark number one on it, and fifty-four red pencils. So how many red pencils she has? Fifty-four. So we will underline fifty-four red pencils and mark number two on it. Now, how many pencils? does she have in all so we have to find out total number of pencils how we will find total number of pencils by adding it so first we will underline pencils and mark number 3 on it now how we will do it where we have marked number 1 on, on blue pencils so first we will write here blue pencils B L U E blue pencils, P E N C I L S pencils. Then we will leave two boxes. We will write equals to. Now, how many blue pencils Raman has? Thirty-two. So we will write thirty-two after equals to. Now we will put the place value chart one cent 
tens. Now, where we have mark number two on red pencils. So, how many red pencils Raman has? Fifty-four. So, after leaving one line, we will write here red pencils equals to. We always write equals to under equals to. Now, how many red pencils Raman has? Fifty-four. So, we will write fifty-four. Under ones we will write four, and under tens we will write five. Now, what we have to find out total number of pencils. So for so we will write here total. So how we will find total by adding it. So in the bracket we will put the sign of plus again equals to under equals to and we, and we will put plus sign here also. Now we will draw a line. Now we will add two plus four. Now two on the head and four on the tips. So we will, so we will count four on the tips. One, two, three, four. Now what comes after two? Three, four, five, six. So under ones we will write here six. Now we will add three plus five. So three on the head and five on the tips. Let's count five on the tips. One, two, three, four, five. Now what comes after three? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So three plus five is eight. So we will write eight under tens. And again at the end we will draw a line. So how many total pencils Raman has? 86. So we will write here answer equals to 86. So what we get? 86 pencils. So we will write here 86 pencils. Now let us practice one more example. So read the statement with me. Sumit has 28 candies. Riya has 13 candies. How many candies do they have all together? Now first we will see what information is given to us. Sumit has 28 candies. So how many candies Sumit has? 28. So we will underline this line and we will mark number 1 on it. Riya has 13 candies. How many candies Riya has? 13 candies. So we will underline this line also and mark number 2 on it. How many candies do they have all together? Now we have to find out total number of candies. So we will underline candies and mark number 3 on it. So first we will write the statement. Sumit has 28 candies. So we will write on number 1. Sumit has candies. Then we will put sign of equals to how many candies Sumit has? 28. So after equals to we will write 28. Now write the place value chart on it. 1 cent tens. Now Riya has 13 candies. So we will write Riya has candies. How many candies Ria has? 13. So after putting sign of equals to, we will write 13. And again we have written equals to under equals to. Now we have to find out total number of candies. So we will write here total. And in the bracket we will put sign of plus again equals to under equals to. And we will write here plus also. Now we will draw a line. Now we will do addition. 
8 plus 3 means 8 on the head and 3 on the tips. Let's count 3 on the tips. 1, 2, 3. Now what comes after 8, 9, 10, 11. Now we cannot write 11 here as it is the two digit number. So we will write 11 on the right side and we will mark here 1s and 10s. Now we will cut 1s. We will cut 1 and we will write under 1s and we will carry 10s. Now 1 plus 2. Again 1 on the head and 2 on the tips. 1, 2. Now what comes after 1? 2, 3. So 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 1 is 4. So we will write 4 under tens and again we will draw a line here. Now what is the answer? Answer equals to 41 candies. Now let us recall what we have learnt today. Number 1. Read the story carefully. Number 2. Make the statement according to the given story. Number 3. Write the numbers carefully. Number 4. Write place value chart on the numbers. Number 5. Put the sign of equals to in the same line. Number 6. Add the numbers. So children, I hope you all understood how to do addition story sounds. Now take out your snap homework and maths book and copy and do the related sums. Thank you.